Legend Total War here, and this is part two of this particular saving disaster campaign as Carcassonne uh, in Mortal Empires for Warhammer 2. It's it, when I first saw it, I, I thought it was just so badly screwed, but things have things have been turned around. We got a few peace treaties, and we've eliminated a few armies. Haven't eliminated any factions. We haven't conquered anything. It's been defending this province. Do you know who I am? And it's been going okay. Now, yes. Bit of cheese has to be used, but you know, what do you expect? It's good to see that they took Quinell's back. Now, maintaining public order in this province. That it's on very hard difficulty, you can tell by difficulty level. What can we do to improve well we'll get another let's give us two build slots let me have a look so we don't have any military buildings at the moment so that's something to consider we don't have a defense building may not need that though but in terms of public order which one provides it it's uh it's this one here so we can get an additional four and then in adjacent provinces right and when you get to there it actually generates an income but that's at tier 5. So yeah, that'll, that'll only be needed. Let's see what else there is. There's this. This provides control. We can get plus 5 with that. That'll also be good for growth. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, well we should clear this out here. Just to eliminate it. Let me just see if I can get a peace treaty with Skarsnik. You need me. Unless you're here to give me something nice, do one. No. Despite the fact that we beat him. Uh, what about Noctilus? We gave him a good whooping. Yep, he's he's out of here. Tasted blood yeah. in a while. Okay, his closest territory is down here, so fighting him is... We, we just don't need to. Let's just get him to pay up. And hopefully we don't have to see him again for a while. Or at all. Would be better. Okay. Now... They, their overall strength should be reduced against us because their ally has left the uh, left the wall. But we might have to wait turn or two before they realize what they're up against. Okay, Bretonia lost Paravon. We could get a peace treaty with with them. At least that's what they said last time. Let me just check. No, they've changed their mind, which is fine because if we were to come over here and capture this. That's a, it's a really good settlement. We've got military access there, don't we? Light of the lady. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're not going to get any Blessings relations of the lost lady from that. Be upon you. The big problem, though, is this region here. Leaving the province will cause public order problems. We've got a tax rate plus 5%. If I was to switch it over to control... Okay. This will make sure that we keep it under control. I mean, we're not going to make as much money, but pff, don't worry about it. It's only 5% extra. Sallying forth. Pious. Who calls me hence? Oh. Her will okay. guides me. Good that we've got extra movement again. What about Castle Artois? Well, we gotta get rid of this. You seek the lady. You know, taking Blackstone posts might be better than holding on to Castle Artois. Like I just I just can't get there in time. I just can't. I, I like I can't do both. Ever ready. All right, you stay here. Striking out. I hear the winds. Got nothing lost. You seek prophecy. My strength. If we force march to here. We might be able to get there next turn. It shall be so. I go thither. Who wishes the grail? Onwards in her name. 
that army might be recruiting something good, but they don't have any walls here, so we should be fine. Can't recruit anything. Alright, what do we need? Should just wait until we get the Hippogriff at rank 14. He's close to that. Don't worry about the Pegasus. Why did you put two points into this? Oh, maybe, maybe he confederated and it was already put into that. So, yeah. That's fine. I'm sure it was the AI who did that. Right, yeah. We're definitely going to need to have, well... I need, pub yeah, I need public order to keep it under control when we get there. Don't need any more of these these spells. Uh, Flock of Doom's all right. At the same time, we're gonna want to clear out that corruption. Good. Once we get this to chain lightning, that's uh, going to make it significantly more powerful. Alright, so the public order here is minus 11, so... Let me just see here. We'll actually be able to keep it under control once this and that comes into play. Alright. I really do want to save this, but I just don't know if I can. They've got two armies here, but even even if they were to attack us, I'm pretty confident that they wouldn't be able to beat us. Moving on. Like I said, we've got to get the Blackstone post quickly before it gets beefed up. Okay, cool. They're not coming after us. I just got a message from Discord. I'm just gonna pause this for one moment. I need to go respond to that immediately. I'll be right back. All right, let's continue. Okay, good to see the vampire accounts lost that. Or maybe they just attacked it and withdrew. Don't know. Whatever the case is, as long as they can stay contained and the Empire's problem, I don't have to worry about it. Greetings, Dowie. What do you wish to discuss? We got the same enemies. Good way to make 500 gold, but they could drag us into other wars. Like, they're not going to come and support us all the way over here. So, you go fight them on your own terms. We don't need this alliance. Like, it's not worth the 500 gold. You gotta be very careful about getting alliances in Total War Warhammer. They can actually be very detrimental to you. Drag you into loads and loads of wars. Well, they haven't recruited anything yet. Who calls me Hex? If we stand here, the next turn we'll be able to make the attack, and at least it gives us a bit more time to replenish. Very well. Shit. You insist. All right, you can force march there. 
going for? What do you seek? Incomes improved marginally. Okay, public order is actually going a bit further down. Probably just due to corruption. That's why we got to give it a removal on. Uh, that being said, it's going to take a long time for it to revolt. So an additional 25% farming income. That's better than nothing. Okay, I don't think there's much else we can do. We should just check to see if anybody will negotiate a peace treaty. A timely just arrival. check. If we can get out of some of these wars that we just don't need to fight, that would be ideal. Yeah, I hate you humans. There we go. Start talking before I get mocked as Ha! Good. Another enemy that we do not need to fight. Now, looking over here, they do own this settlement here, but Lewin Leon goes back, he might just take it back, so whatever. Alright, then there's the Barrow Legion. They've got two regions. They're kind of willing to negotiate. We'll negotiate with them after we've taken this. Yes. What? Do not Tyria, speak your poisoned Yet. I spare nothing enough. And Crooked Moon. I hate you, humans. So start talking. Okay, after we've taken this settlement here, we should take this. Like, Castle Artois is just going to get blown up. But we'd be getting a much better city, and it'd be at level 4. Even though it's not really suitable climate, you know. We've got to get rid of our enemies. Like I said, it's, it's, this isn't going to create a new enemy. And then we still need to come down here and deal with them. This is just so out of the way. Alright, let's move on. That's the old saying go, he who defends everything defends nothing. You just can't be on the defense all the time. Sometimes you just have to give something up. Future. Tis but a thin yeah, just don't want to pay them for it. Now, looting the settlement should give us so much money that we'll be able to fund our armies for the next several turns. Or give us at least enough money to build Blackstone post up, which will increase our income. We'll see. That's good that they failed those assassination attempts. Well, oh, you actually won. How about that? Well, it's definitely good to see the Empire is doing well against vampire counts. Yeah, I don't think we'll need a third episode. Once, once we stabilize a little bit, just get out of one or two more of these wars, we'll be fine. What's this? Uh, what are they're coming in to help or are they making the attack we are attacking vampire counts rebels we can't auto resolve win that alright this might be our way of saving the city Bretonia has come to help how about that the big problem here though is that they are going to send their forces out to fight without waiting for us. But if we can win here, that buys us some time. Actually, we've got to keep it. Uh, actually, no, this could be good. We'll be able to to come in from this angle here and, uh, and meet up with them. Oh. We're going to have to move fast. At least our forces came in fairly quickly. Bounds of power is looking good. Hold steady. Mounted 
Said, wait for me a little bit. Ever faithful. Get up or wait for their reinforcements. It's so dumb. If you fight together, they're separated. Mounted yeoman! Balance power seems to be improving slightly. But if we can distract a couple of these units with our, our yeomen here, that's good. Just provide a little bit of less pressure on them. Give us more time to get over here. Take out the Vargas first, because they're most vulnerable to the missiles. Uh, well, they're moving around like that, that'll be hard to hit. Yes. Got a nice high ground here. Men at arms! Ride hard! Like the wind! Antonio's first army is getting wrecked. But the bounce of power is still decent. Alright, taking out these Var guys here with these archers. That's perfect. They're gone. We serve the king. Good, good. Didn't really help too much the bounce of power, but still helps. Mounted yeoman. All right. We want to take out these brave guards next. The best way to do that would be to shoot them in the flank. Men at arms. Fill them with oars. So while they're focused here. Draw them in a little bit and then turn around. Get them to turn around with them. Mounted Yeoman! There we go. Spurs, lads! Armed and ready! We live to serve! Bretonia! Just feigning that charge there to get them to turn around. managed to help the bounce of power. I'm doing well, but I think my ally is doing a terrible job. We fight for oh no, don't charge him. Get them moving! Bowman, aye! Spare man at arms! Mounted and ready! Ride! Spurs, lads! Spare man at arms! Vargast over here. 
It's good that we're having to just deal with like one unit at a time. That's really helpful. Okay, you need to get the attention of another unit. Bring him over here. This is a good position for us to hold. I've already used up half of my ammo though. Bouncer power is looking good. I'm not coming off this hill. Just get their attention some help. Be a waste of ammo to shoot those bats. That's it, Graveguard. Come and follow me. Let's take these guys out. This wouldn't be a waste of ammo at all. Just it'd be better to shoot them in the flank, obviously. Come with. Ride hard. Serve and obey. Like the wind. Get them moving. Okay, good. Vargas coming in. They're very much vulnerable to being shot. He's firing. That thing's gone. Good. Bounce of power's in our favor again. Alright. I'm going to come a bit further down the hill. Cryptoras, yeah, we should take them out. Whatever is most vulnerable to missiles, that's what we should use our archers on. Go on, take out the grave guard next. Mounted yeoman. Good. That one's died. Horseman. Still one unit over here. What are, what are they doing? Oh, it's just the bats. Just to kill them. And then they've got uh, their lord is stuck. Mounted oh, well. yeoman. Definitely appreciate Bretonia coming in to, to bail me out of this. They could have done a better job. But we've won the day. Your orders. I think. Yes. Britonia and it's me. Ready to serve? Peasant Bowman. Quickly, lads! Like the wind. Right. Maybe here in charge of them. Fighters! For the ladies! I was hoping these guys would crumble by now, but they're not. You get in there and charge in, they might just crumble. Bounce of power's looking good. Still have to take out the enemy lord. Good, they meant crumble. Over here is crumbling. Oh, 
Huh, that guy actually managed to hand out the zombies. Good, good one. Chivalry at this stage. Hmm. Big Norsecan army heading toward, to, towards Crone. Every settlement that Bretonia loses is essentially a settlement that we lose since we're able to confederate with them. So after we've taken out these mountains here, it might be a good idea to hit Marienburg in this area here. Just, uh, just so that... Because um, they're, they're not going to peace out. Let's clear them out. Ah, it's going to be another rev revolt immediately. We can get this down, and maybe it'll get built in time. Maybe. Because we didn't take much damage. These guys will have recovered by then. So they've managed to recruit a bunch of heroes, and they've recruited some good units. But we're in decent shape here. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Yes. All right, let's do this. Winds rise. Okay. Lord. Striking out for a lady. Hang on, I got an idea. Can he go into encamp mode and get that little bit of extra melee defense? Destroy them. Strong units, but we. Oh fuck! I need the artillery. For Bretonia. And now, yes. Onward. Ah, oh, now we can't encamp. Oh well. Witness her power. Come forth. Alright, so let's have a look at this map and come up with a plan. Okay, I found that setting up on the corners of the of these type of settlement here works pretty well. Because whilst these towers here are very powerful, once you've taken out, you've got this huge area in where you can sit without getting shot. Now, we've only got one load of artillery, so we might only be able to destroy one tower. Who knows where the reinforcements are going to come from. Okay, coming from there. So maybe this tower here, we should take this one out. Alright, we got 25 shots. Actually, that should be enough to destroy two towers. But at the same time, we also want to take out a lot of their units. Good to see the bounce powers in our favor. Oh, I've actually got a timer. I thought the timer was off because of the first battle we did in this campaign. 
had no timer, but then again, it was in Force March, so that may have explained it a bit. We can heal these guys with the Fae Enchantress, so they can continue to take some damage and it'll be fine. Okay, they don't need to tank that one. Just this one here. Okay, so we do have enough ammunition to take out another tower, but it might be in our best interest to come around over here and bomb this area. Now, if they put it, if they put someone on the tower there, that could be a problem. So what we'll do is we'll grab, grab, grab the Fey Enchantress and come over here. That way, if the tower does activate, we can just block it until they've used up their ammo. Because this is the best line of fire to shoot from. Decent number of archers, that's good. Just putting things nice and tidy. Good. Okay, just a little bit more over this way. And we gotta be aiming for the grave guard. It's good, bit of damage. It all adds up. Plenty of time. It's not a huge army, so we can handle this. Plenty of time to deal with it. Trebuchet seems to take a long time to reload. But they need to use up all their ammo first, because if I start bringing in the archers, they might maneuver around here to, to position into this tower. I don't want that. This does magic damage. We should be aiming for the Cairn race. Damn, that did shitloads of damage. That was a good call. If they could wipe out that unit, that's them done their worth. Shots like killing about 10 of them. That's great. Keep it up. I wonder, is this the, the artillery that he had at the very start of the campaign? Could be. Yeah, he wouldn't have been able to recruit another one. He didn't have any level 4 settlements. Three shots left. If they can land one more hit, it might start. Okay, it started crumbling. That's good. So. One more volley. Alright, out of ammo, get back over here now. Where it's nice and safe. And let's bring the archers in now. Keep these guys over here in order to make it seem like this is where we're going to make the attack from. But these guys just come around so we can shoot at their flanks. Taking out the vampire counts in a defensive battle is the easiest because they don't have any missile units. It's doing lots of damage to it, and if we can take out their magic, that's good too. But I think they do have a lot of uh, necromancers. 
But still, he's not an armored unit, so. Big target. That Kern Ray stopped crumbling with 31 health remaining. And they, they could have used heal to bring it back up, but they didn't. Guess they don't care. It's too late now. Right, we want them to come a little bit more over this way. In order to do that, we have to make it seem like this is where we're going to attack from. I'm gonna hit that moving target so easily. Oh, that actually wasn't a bad shot. Okay, where's my Pegasus nuts? They should take him out quite quickly. Without needing to use any ammo. Bouncer power's doing good, and we still got plenty of time. Thing is as well- oh, hang on, here comes- here comes trouble. We got- Our guys took a bit of damage, but they're taking more. They're, they're going to be gone soon. What are you shooting at? Well, none of them are dying, so I can just pop down a heal. Oh, they did actually lose two extra guys. That's okay, we'll just keep popping down some heals, they'll get back up to almost full strength. Plenty of magic. Shit. Get them away from there. Okay, we're wasting our ammo there. I have an idea, actually. Let's take these two, and we're going to feign an attack at these Var guys to try to draw them in over here, because they're quite vulnerable to archers. Oh, weird. When did we destroy that? Huh. Come on. Don't care about the bats, just take out the bar guys. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Get back over here, get a bit of a heal. Right 
still gotta heal those Pegasus Knights. The Pegasus Knights could easily take out the actually these guys here could do that. Human archers. Right. Still got a little bit of ammo left. Not and ready. Run. Ready to ride. This grave guard. Getting up on the wall is probably not a good idea. We just don't have enough infantry. Victory is in our grasp. Good to know. Alright, let's get these two knights of the realm to start knocking down the gate. Is that a mortis engine? Oh yeah, we gotta shoot that. But I'm pretty much out of ammo. Except with the, uh, the horse archers. They're pretty vulnerable to shooting. I could send the paladins down to get it. But if we're getting into a big blob fight, that could do a lot of damage to us. It regenerates as well. Stop dodging my shots. A little bit more. So maybe you have to send the paladins to finish the job. Okay, archers are all done. Get back here. Good. Losing that is a big deal. That's a that's a very powerful unit. Alright, the two paladins can go take out those fell bats. There's nothing here that can stop them. Maybe shoot those crypt ghouls. They're vulnerable to getting shot. Cavalry is not the ideal unit for city assaults, but there's, there's not, I'm not seeing any uh, spearmen, so we should be okay. seeing if there's a better target. Maybe these Grave Guard here, because they've got their backs turned to us. They're just not really getting many kills there. The problem here is that this is in the way, so you might might hit them in the back. Or they, they might hit this instead. Okay, the bats are down. I reckon these two paladins could could handle the uh, Karen race if they had to. But we'll see if we can take out that vampire lord. Gates down. Just 
just make a run for the town square. So there's, there's nothing blocking us here. Okay, now they're not faring so well. Get out. get a heal. Yeah, they didn't do so well against that vampire lord. Got plenty of magic, so I guess I could just put this down and make it fight on the walls for a bit. Another thing on small unit scales, uh, this this magic here is not as powerful because it comes with less health. Good, we're capping the tail. Okay, good. Now what we have to do is prevent them from getting back here for 200 seconds, and it doesn't matter if we get the army loss penalty if it's on them or not, which it probably will. What orders? Yes, my lord. Okay. I shall. Putting a heal bomb here is probably a good, good idea. Yeah, you can hit them in the rear. And we'll pop down another one. These cavalry just aren't really good in a shut up fight. They have to charge in, which is why they're not good in, in a siege. And since a lot of the most important battles in this game are going to be sieges, this is why I don't really get cavalry that much. And one of the reasons why Bretonia is such a crappy faction on the campaign. Uh, are clear to come back over here and duel the, the Lord again. The army loss penalty was inflicted, so... Didn't need to cap it, but it was done anyway. Now that we've captured this, we'll peace out with the Barrow Legion. There's no need for us to fight them anymore. We've gotten everything that we want out of them. And this is a really good settlement as well. Level 4. I mean, it's level 5 right now, but when we take it, it's level 4. As Bretonia, you don't get to loot an you. It's only Occupy or Sack. I'll find out in just a moment. Alright, what kind of gold are we getting from the win? Not much. Ugh. I don't really care about the chivalry, but 56,000. But if we if we sack and occupy it, it'll go down to level 3. But money is such an issue. 
thing is we could use this money to beef up our army a little bit longer, a bit a little bit more. I'm gonna do that. Witness her power. It's just so much cash. You know, that's 66 turns that we can pay for these troops now. Sure, we lost a bit of chivalry, but it's no big deal. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Now there's these guys over here that needs to be dealt with. All right, looking at Blackstone Post, there's still some some stuff here. We can get men at arms. We, we can get a, some soldiers, up. and and we've got the we've got this. Funny, this is built without us actually having to build the the farmhouse. The, sorry, the windmill. Uh, you should stand here. You're gonna take attrition. So, like I said, level three. But that kind of money will keep us going for quite some time now. We can buy ourselves a little bit more time that way. That's good. If we build this, we might just be able to prevent another revolt. What else would there be? Wood provides us with a bit of extra money. Not heaps. The Royal Hippogriff Knights are, are really... I, I forgot about those. They're actually really good. Um, a bit on the expensive side, but that's okay. You do get more money from, from that. What does the storehouse provide? Hmm. Still not sure which way to go about this. Alright, I'm going to build that. And that. Okay, over here, Everest. let's recruit another peasant archer. I, will grant you this oh, I need this guy here to recruit, oh, no. but Before he can't blowing. in allied territory. But if he stands here, he's going to take attrition. What's the... Okay, next turn he'll be able to stand here without taking attrition. That being said as well, we're still, we're still got a deficit, so just, just chill for a minute. Repairing that... Just let it repair on its own. There's not that much money coming from it anyway. And let's build... Should we build walls or public order? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't want a revolt to happen here, so I guess we'll go with public order. Plus, it'll help us... No, it doesn't get rid of any of the... The other stuff. Okay, so we've got two extra build slots here. That's good. What are we going to do? Walls would be good. And the other building for public order. Then we'll need to find some way to get to Karak Ziflin. So is that walled? No. Shouldn't be too difficult for us to handle that. Alright, what's next? Let's grab that. And... Oh, we can get the Green Knight now. Eh, nah, we, I don't think we really need it right now. You know what? I will actually recruit another unit. I know money's tight, but... Soon... We might actually have some more money coming out of here. Okay, let's move on. We need this settlement here to fully get proper control over it so we can put the edict down but of course we're not going to go up war against our ally 
If I was to confederate with them now, it would just give Norska just a walking in opportunity to take Koron. I can't let that happen. If I set a war target for, for that army, Bretonia might focus on it a little bit more. I don't need their help anymore. I'll handle Crooked Moon. I want them to handle Norska. Oh yeah, I forgot about that peace treaty. Yep, that's fine. Glad to see they didn't forget. sucks. That really sucks, but I, I can't afford the the extra upkeep costs. Uh, seems like there's going to be a revolt here no matter what, unless we force march him over here. That'll that'll prevent it. They've they've just beefed up their army here by a large portion, so we've got no means with which to deal with it now. So just stay over here just for a short time. At least that'll prevent the revolt and we can tax it, at least for this turn. It's a bit of money here now. Like I said, we got heaps of money to last quite a bit of time thanks to sacking this. While they're here, like next turn, we can get them to build this up uh, to recruit some more archers. Definitely want to get some some good or some better infantry. Leadership fifty six. Yeah, I quite like men at arm pole arms. They don't have shields, which is which is definitely useful. But the fact they've got armor piercing and bonus versus large is quite good. And their leadership shit, but you know, we, we make do with what we got. Public order's maintaining. Alright, so like I said, let's Alariel the Radiant. Let's tell them to prioritize attacking Wolfric the Wanderer. Now as for the Crooked Moon. Who are they also war with? Killing. Okay. I hate you, you. Just gotta wait for a good opportunity. Now, we could send these guys down here to attack both Marienburg and Grungzint. The defense, they're not gonna have walls, so the defenses are, should be... There's no defenses at Grungzint, actually. The hell? Well, that's good for us. We should go take it. What we'll do, because these guys are going to be recruiting, just recruit this one here. So, it's only a little bit of extra cash. And we'll send her around, since there's going to be... you got to go around this way. Oh, you can't. <laughs> Too bad we can't use the underway. Okay, maybe we'll just wait. I was, I was just thinking I could just bypass it around this way, but Marienburg blocks the pass. 
Still got good replenishment, so that certainly helps. What's her Lord's ability? Because I noticed that Alberic, when we were playing that other disaster campaign, didn't have this kind of replenishment. Alright. They're still not going to last particularly long. Well, we'll last a while. I guess we do need to consolidate for a bit. If I set the army over here to attack, I don't think I'd win. There's too many of them. We need this army to go somewhere else. Alright, as much as I do need a barracks, we need walls. So I'm going to demolish this in order to build walls, because I'm going to put them over here and maybe go into ambush stance, so that they attack Blackstone Post and then I catch them. Definitely good that we prevented another revolt from occurring. Now, it probably won't be that long before the High Elves come back over here, but you'd expect that they'd have their hands full fighting other people. It's kind of surprising to even see the High Elves there. It's not that late in the campaign. They should be. They should have their hands full, you know, fighting Dark Elves. No. No alliances. We've got two, that's enough. If Bretonia could just get rid of Wolfric's army there, I'd confederate with him. Oh, he's gone. He could be an ambush dance. I doubt his army's actually disappeared. Or he could be standing over here in Marienburg. Lord. We could recruit a lord and go and check. Okay, so like I said, I do I do need those those units, but we've got limited build slots, so we just need to make do with what we've got. Okay, that's good. So now we can upgrade this for a little bit of extra cash. I would have thought that would maintain pub. I guess. No, I don't. Oh. Corruption's going up further. That's why we gotta get rid of them. The first wave of chaos hasn't even shown up yet. It's only one extra control, and it's a pretty expensive building. Well, still gotta do it. Armored in faith. It shall be so. I will indulge. Won't cost that much. Who wishes the grain? Get out me eight! Public order stable, but as soon as we leave, it'll revolt. You know, one extra public order is not going to make a big difference, but it will make a difference. As that's going to be difficult to deal with without, without, um... Actually, the cavalry can easily destroy Squeak Herd. Alright, let's see if we can get out of some more of these wars. Nope. 
I've been looking forward to this. In agreement. Good. Very good, good. That really helps. I travel the world, see. Ulf ones did speak your poison. Yeah. Bloody spring. I'm no a man of honor. It is now. Thou strivest. So it seems like Carl Franz is really giving the vampire counts a good good thrashing. That's what we want to see. Protector of the realm. So looking at vampiric corruption, there is some local pop populace, but it is it is going way down now. So that's good to see. Yes. Yeah, sacking that settlement really gave us a little wiggle room here. I want Marienburg. I know. I'll send this damsel. Down this way to spy on them. Yeah, I, I figured as much. Yeah, if we wait till this is built, they'll besiege it, but they won't assault it, and that way we can get them, maybe. If we leave it vulnerable. So just hold that until then. We've got enough money to, to hold out for a good number of turns. We'll be okay. None of our settlements are revolting, so we've got some time. Something happened over there. They must have had a rebellion. That's not ideal. How's the garrison here? Yeah, the last thing we want is to leave the settlement and then they attack and, bes and assault on the same turn. So we'll wait until this is done. That, that didn't help our finances. I didn't expect it to, but still, 35 turns until we run out of money. Public order's looking much better. Well, 35 turns if we don't spend any more. So this is stabilized now, that's good to see. Stop that! Yeah, don't forget, Skarsnik can lightning strike, so we got to be very careful about that. Need to lure him into a trap. Don't hold your breath. That being said, I'm pretty confident this army here would beat it. I want to come down here and capture. Hmm. If I was to reoccupy this, we wouldn't hold it for long before he took it. Just thinking about the confederation with Bretonia. Now, still not the right time. The light of the 
You ask for a now he doesn't want to. Speak. He's not under immense pressure. That's the thing, they'll confederate when it's not worth doing, but then they don't want to confederate when it's seek? it's time to when it's most beneficial to us. Still I still can't justify that attack. We gotta we gotta wait. What is your behest? Thing is, going after something like this would only be worth it if we were going in that direction in the first place. Because you've got to take into consideration that you're paying your army every turn. And if their upkeep is 5,000, as an example, if it took you four turns to grab that, then it's, you're just wasting time. Things have definitely quieted down. Oh, uh, that's not good. It's also not that bad either, because if I was to occupy that. I hear the winds. I will not. My strength and wisdom are yours. Hmm. It's only got one turn. Shit. We have to just stay here for one more turn. Whatever he's gonna do... Yeah, because otherwise, if we leave here, they'll just go and attack this. They're waiting for us to leave. It's a game of fucking siege chicken. And if we, if we beat Wolfric, we can capture all of these settlements here. But we have to make sure that this, this can, at the very least, Delay that army. We'd easily be able to beat him. It's just, I can't go for it right now. Because we wouldn't be able to get back here in time. We'd lose this. It wouldn't be worth it. He might go over here and besiege this settlement. That would be a big mistake for him. See, this is pretty good because extra leadership for, for infantry units is is definitely useful because it's considering how quickly they break but are you going to be having these units at the end of the road I don't know I'm just trying to see what might be the most useful. She doesn't have Arcane Conduit, which would be very useful. But I think right now we really do need Lowborn Militia. There's still plenty of levels up. She'll be able to get most of these things that she needs anyway. Alright, let's move on. this one back as well. So I really hope he just stays there. Trade dissolve. Ah. We essentially just went to war with Avalorn because of that. It would have been nice if it was the other way around because that would have got us out of the war. But Oh well. These things happen. He's not coming at us so it doesn't really matter. I don't know how he got into war with 
with uh, high elves. That's a silly move. They probably declared war on him, but still. It's annoying. Okay, Vampire Coast declaring war on Lothurn. Hopefully that'll just keep them busy. I hope they're not trying to go to Marienburg. I want that. Or maybe I'll tell them to prioritize it. Oh, no, I can't do that. They might not even be at war with Norska. They did what I said they were going to do. Nice. And that'll be their doom. Oh, no, you don't. Uh-oh. -uh. Jisaro is mine. I'm going to have to get the, the Fey Enchantress to go and take it, which means she's going to be damaged, but they absolutely must defeat Wolfric here first. So Alberic has to do that. We've got a good-sized garrison in there. I really don't see it being a problem defeating him. Now, we need to make sure that his army stays in good shape, though. Ugh, that's not good. If we auto-resolve this, they'll get wiped out. I probably wasn't going to do much better. That actually isn't that all that bad. And the thing is now, I can actually just use this one instead to occupy this. Slay them! Guardian! What would you have of me? I will be rewarded. Okay, and then we can put down an edict here to keep it under control. Protector of the realm. Of course, did increase our income? Not yet. Now, this building has, has been built now. So the garrison is is solid. It'll, it'll, they won't attack an assault on, on one turn, I don't think. Because if they did, they'd lose. Pretty sure. Actually, I should be getting wind blast. Right, so come down to here. You seek the lady. Get into ambush stance. I will come to your aid. And we'll see if they move from that position. Public order depth goes down by a little bit, but that's okay. Blessings of the lady be upon you. I do want him to go down to Marienburg, but he'll have to recover a little bit first. My strength and wisdom are yours. Maybe just spend one or two turns here. Well, more than one turn. Anything else we can build? Public order is pretty stable. Now, how about a confederation with Bretonnia? Is that I still on the table? What about these guys? The lady grants you That's safe not on the table. King Lewin, you are it's not on the table either. Maybe maybe a certain amount of money would get him to change his mind, but we don't we don't desperately need it right now. He's not falling to pieces. Ugh, that's not good. I cannot. Ah, that's not good at all. Well, we'll worry about that a bit later. Hopefully, we can deal with this. If if they don't go for this, then I'll have to bring Alberic's army invitation. up here. This is more of a priority than than this here. Oh, the Empire got smashed. Let's check to see if the Empire... Yes. Yeah, they are at war with Norska. Let's... Let me just see. Can I get out of this war? Yeah, no. seek my... Cool. Let's 
It's good they made such a silly move to attack there. Moving on. So, Forest of Arden Province. That is going to become under control now. Don't have to worry about that. I'm actually kind of rooting for the uh, for the Greenskins to win there. I mean, you always root for whoever's not your enemy. Again, kind of rooting for Harganeth to totally wreck him. So let's see what Crooked Moon does. Well, my ambush wasn't thwarted, so that's good. They didn't do anything. Unless they move towards the Empire, in which case that's good. Once I've got that settlement, I'm happy to peace out with them. And then there's still Muslim as well. They have to be killed at some point. Ambush was foiled, but it doesn't matter. It was. It did its job. I heard them move. Well, I heard something move. Yeah, he did. He got the fuck out of there. We can, we can do this. Yeah, we can, we can manage this. And in fact, it would be better to order resolve it, because otherwise this army here won't get eliminated. That stung a little bit more than I was hoping for, but it was more about, got to make sure that this one doesn't run off. Should we sack and occupy? No, just, just, uh, I mean, it's a lot of money. We won't have enough movement to sack and occupy, so just occupy it. So what did we lose? We, lose? we lost a little bit of infantry, and we lost a knight's errant. That's okay, the knight's errant aren't that important. And we'll just replace, let me just see here. Spearmen at arms with shields. Alright, let's let's see about that peace treaty with Crooked Moon now. They won't have it. He won't be able to make it back here in a single turn. Who wishes the grave? Alright. Oh, you need an additional smithy building for Trash infantry. Give me a break. Well, then we'll just go for spear at arms. Those will have to do. Considering they're so much cheaper than knights errant, I might merge some of them. Just got, just got too much cav. Because they may come back next turn. We need to make sure we're as close to full strength as possible. Uh, probably don't need that. Like, we'll, we'll get rid of this here. This is not the right place to put it. Lord of Bretonia. Needs to stay there for one more turn at least. And can we Protector get a little bit more Burel. intel over here? They haven't built another army. Yes. But we're not ready to go for it. Could we use global Fate recruitment? Is my armor. I don't really want to recruit peasants. We could use global recruitment and just get a few now, yes. spearmen at arms. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Because we got the we got the room for it. 
Alright, this paladin here can finally get a Pegasus. Money's looking much better. Oh, then that's because we disbanded some troops. We gotta put money in here. I hope they don't declare war on us. Don't worry about that right now. Yeah, taking Marienburg, then Grungzint, and then Gorsal. That'd be good. Although we're almost at an hour and a half. We can sort of see that the the disaster is over now. We're we've gone from defensive to offensive maneuvers. And that's a that's a good sign to let you know that um, the disaster's over. Most disasters are, you know, save me, there's too many armies in my lands. And now it's a case of who should I kill first? We can keep going to bed bad an hour and 45 minutes, but like I said, I think the disaster's been averted. And once once it's taken out North Scotia, should double back around, get rid of Musulon. As soon as possible. If for no other reason than just to get rid of the vampiric corruption in Bretonia. That'll help massively with public order, so that you may not even need to build the public order buildings, allowing you to build other buildings. Or at least not build public order buildings in all provinces, because they do provide a osmosis effect. So you don't need to have them in all provinces. I guess that's a big weakness of Bretonia. They do have a lot of bit. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, double shit. Do not go to war with the Wood Elves. This is why having alliances is not good. Sorry, don't want to go to war with the Wood Elves. That may have lowered our reliability, but the last thing you're going to want is to go to war with them. Especially when we're on the attack. And we don't need Bretonia as an ally anymore. And this is when the Wood Elves have, have fully controlled Athel Lauren. Oof, not, a, not a good time to fight them. How's our reliability? See. Yeah, we. I mean, the money's not that. I'll go with the make the donation because that that research rate will come in handy. Oh, that's gonna hurt. No one's gonna get any deals with us for a while, but we may not need to. So. Confederation is completely off the Champion table, the but we don't Let really, we don't really need it. Uh, we, we don't want to go to war with them. Reliability will go up over time. Yeah, we definitely don't want to go to war with them, so we'll just re-establish relations with them. So they're not particularly happy about the, the fact that we broke the alliance, but... Here's the thing, if I, I had have known that they were going to do that... I would have cancelled the alliance, but there's no way that we could have known that. Okay, so... I just wanted that one turn for recruitment. Oh, we should have gotten rid of these mounted yeomen, they're trash. Yeah, we'll get a few more spearmen at arms, because you've got to be able to hold the line. They're not the best units for it, but, you know, it's, it's all we've got. Glade. One of those, and one of those. Still got a decent number of cavalry. Who calls me now, over here, Carrick Ziflin, we could build up the, the walls. Well, the garrison. But we also need money. That's not going to be able to be upgraded until it hits tier 4, but that'll happen eventually. 
probably not something for me to worry about. Alright, and then next turn. Next turn we march on Marienburg. I like to have six units of archers in each army, and it should be more than enough to capture it. But that is a little bit of a concern. Oh, actually, since it is a bit of a concern, we'll beef it up a little bit more. Ah, oh, fuck it. We'll have the money soon enough. I see much. My strength and wisdom are yours. I didn't actually need it, just attach this one. Grant me your gifts, my lady. See, I reckon this is what happened. He got an alliance with Bretonia early on, thinking, oh yeah, you know what, We're, we got everything aligned. And everyone started declaring war on Bretonia, and then you got dragged into all these wars. Sometimes you just need to say enough is enough. Oh, Fuck yeah, allies. Bad. Okay, nobody wants a peace treaty with us because we're unreliable. Sometimes you can get it with other unreliable factions. I hear ya. Speak up, or I'll take your time. I is invincible. Now strike. Sorry. Got enough money to get through the next few turns. So yeah, taking Marienburg and then Grung Zint. Well, taking Grung Zint will allow us to get a uh, edict in there to maintain public order. And then Marienburg's, you know, just an incredibly rich city. And, you know, reliability will increase over time. It'll be alright. As long as nobody else declares war on you, which could very well happen. But it's like what I always say, allies bad. Now, Bretonia did bail us out at Castle Artois. But it wasn't worth going to war with the, the Wood Elves over it. Because they will show up and they will wreck you. Bretonia is not good against Wood Elves. Wood Elves are actually one of the most irritating factions to actually fight on the field. So I'm hoping he goes... Oh, I didn't. Oh, hang on. He occupied Isleheart. Yeah. I might have to send both armies down that way. Because after we've taken Marienburg, this army won't be in great shape. I just... I know that that's reasonably strong. And there's, there's no defenses there, so we can take our time. Might put in a few extra minutes in this one, because I don't think this needs an episode 3, but I'm just like, I know I could just push a little bit more out of this. Empire's looking nice and thick. They're still allied to us. Honestly, wouldn't care too much if they cancelled the alliance. You don't need it. Alliances ain't worth shit in this. What's this? Ostland? Okay. You seek prophecy. Okay, they're in bad shape, and it's actually taking a lot longer for them to replenish than I thought it would. So, since we're now at full strength here, well, money's in much better shape. Yeah, you're gonna. Oh, go with what I'm doing. Of oh, god damn it! I thought he'd be able to make it. Well, I guess you're going together then. I protect Bretonia. Public order there is good. I guess building the uh, the fields make a big difference. Get rid of this. Don't need it anymore. Almost got his finances under control. Taking these two settlements here should fix it. There we go. With every turn that goes by without somebody declaring war on us because of our low reliability, the better. The, the less chance that somebody will actually do it, because the reliability should actually be a medium now. Now, 
Now, another thing to consider is that because Bretonia is at war with the Wood Elves, that's going to make them more likely to confederate with us once our reliability is improved. Probably not something that I need to worry about. I just want to hand it back. Who knows, maybe I'll, pl I'll play in episode 3 as a live stream. You guys let me know if that's what you want me to do. Because we did that with the Clan Engrin campaign, and that was that was, pretty, that was actually very good. It took me two more live streams to bloody f to get to Karak 8 Peaks. Long time. Bloody Cetra. So they just sack it. Oh. Whatever. He actually merged his units as well. Now, I believe we did drag him into war with the Empire, so... Maybe... Maybe they'll, they'll continue to find the Empire instead of us. And as far as I can tell, they've just got these four settlements here. Norska's making their way down south. What's this? Dwarfs. Yeah, but they're getting pushed back at the same time. Kislev always gets killed. Kislev's a faction that absolutely must get its own roster, I think. Cool, that increased our peasant limit as well, and a bit of extra money from farms. What else do you need? Um, we've already got, yeah, we've already got that. You don't really need that so much. Immune to snow attrition? Oh, you don't need that right now. You don't have any industry, industry building, so that's not really that important. Well, growth plus 10, that's not bad. Not doing it. Okay, she's leveled up enough, so let's Lord. let Alberic do this one. I we might be able to order resolve this. Them down. Just saves time. No point fighting a battle where it's super easy. I wonder if we should capture this. Probably not. We wouldn't be able to hold it properly. Going forth. Let's have a look at our reliability. That's uh, still at low. I am the blue. Let the supplicant. <laughs> we can get the alliance back. Yeah. No. Nah. Actually, let me just see you if joining confederation is an option. Speak. If we pay them enough money. Not, not yet. So what level is Marienburg? So we'll get it at level oh, two. Not particularly good, but better than nothing. Yeah, there was nothing to be lost there. I'm not gonna sack it. Mulgiata. And there we go. We are out of deficit. Thanks to this building here. Yeah, we're not done yet. You seek the lady. Refused. You seek me. Need to get to Grung's end. So they got another army coming down here, but either yes. one of my armies should be able to handle it. What should we build here? Probably going to need walls. But also gonna need public order, which 
This building here should actually provide some public order. So if we have a look. Buildings are providing plus five. Okay, cool. Ever ready. So you gotta get yourself to chain lightning. So good. So that's all under control there. Only just gotta get rid of that corruption. And it does okay, so they've they've taken that, that is a problem. Maybe upgrade this. Now that we've got money under control, as long as we continue to keep expanding, we'll be okay. Um, just thinking, if, because what you can do is you can build this just so you can get the, the farm building built, and then demolish this afterwards. So we could demolish the, ah, uh, I wouldn't bother. Alright, let's keep moving. Still need to take this though. Would have been nice if they didn't have a revolt and we could have just taken it off them. Because now it's going to cost. Oh shit. It looks like he actually wants to go Nanjia back home. Fey and yeah, because our reliability is low. Such is the way when you when you cancel an alliance like that when they call upon you. Still. So, like I said, going to war with the Wood Elves is the last thing that we need. You need to be reducing the number of enemies, even if that means reducing the number of allies. Try to fight just one person at a time. Once you get a little bit more money, then you'll have enough money for another army, then you can take on more enemies. And I still think Bretonia will confederate as soon as we get the reliability back up. Tempting to come down this way, sack this, just to kill them. Wolfric the Wanderer has come back. Has it already been like four turns? Uh, hour 45 minutes into this one. Might make this a two hour episode. Because like I said, I just don't want to do a third episode. There's no need. Thing is, when I do a Medieval 2 disaster campaign, I'm able to get a lot more done really quickly. So I usually get them done in one episode. But in Warhammer 2, like, the battles take a little bit longer than in Medieval 2. Because, you know, Medieval 2, I can just fight the whole thing and... Oh, God. I can fight the whole thing in 6 times speed. Jeez, all of those are... Both of those are really bad. But that's let drop your income by 35%. You're just gonna have to accept this. Growth is important, but at least they're still going to grow. A little bit. It's better than nothing. Losing 35% would have brought us into deficit again. Okay, and as I said, this will allow us to put in that and keep the whole province under control. Who I am. Ooh, I'm fucking mammoths. <laughs> I will not. Okay, I just wanted to make sure he can't get us here. You seek me. Mammoths are really tough. 
Like, archers will take them down, but you need enough men to be able to hold the line. And they're, they're not going to hold the line for very long. Even though it's only 18 size. If they come out here, they'll have to, if they land, they'll have to also contend with this. spent all the money we gained from sacking that other settlement. Absolutely not. Still low reliability. By okay, Bretonia we can lady. trade with. Do you wish the lady's favor? Absolutely not. Uh, yeah, they're, they're gonna get over the whole broken treaty thing eventually. They'll get over it. Alright, let's move on. Actually, let me just see. If if we were to come under attack at Borderline, we've got almost a full stack. 18 units, up against their 17, but there's much better units. I could recruit a Lord. And, let's see here. Could make just that little bit of difference. I cannot. Your coming was foretold. Okay, I know I know our finances are going down, but it's just until it's just it's just temporary. Alright, moving on. Could have come over here and attacked them, but that would leave Marienburg open. I'm t I'm bloody glad I did that now. We should be able to repel that. When they assault. Kind of which actually recruited a few more. But those two extra units means that we've got we've got uh, twenty units plus the 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 uh, the Fey Enchantr the, the Enchantress thing of life. She'll be able to heal our units. Tyrion, oh, then again, Tyrion to be able to kill them. No one's going to bail us out of that one. Do I have to stay on this long enough? Well, he, he should be able to handle it. It's a, it's a defensive siege. Gives them a big disadvantage. I get my garrison to help me out. And the Fey Enchantress. So we'll have three additional units in them, plus some of their units are damaged. Like, uh, the walls were being upgraded. I kind of wish I had built them a bit earlier. Oh well. Just want to have a look. So the odds are not in our favor. Hmm. A lot of archers. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, find that on the battlefield, not a good idea. Defending the settlement, should be able to manage it. Who calls me heads? Not full strength, but shouldn't need to be. Let's just see if you can beat this on your own first. No. Go 
Because here's the thing, if I send her down here to attack this, she's going to come at their rear. Protector of the realm. I don't think we should auto-resolve it. Alright, let's do this. In fact, we got so many units that I don't think... Yeah, no, they're not all going to come out in the battlefield at once. Alright, we need to have the garrison unit standing in front. I'm pretty sure my reinforcements are going to come from the rear. Look, just Even just having the Van Chantress on the battlefield will provide us with balance of power, so it'll be easier for us to get the the army loss penalty inflicted on them. Obviously huge priority in knocking down ma one mammoth at a time, starting with the war mammoth, probably. But the good thing is, because I'm very high difficulty, I'll be able to check on the armor ratings and look at stats and make a judgment call on that. But of course, their other units are going to rip through us fairly quickly. Oh, this is not the best settlement to be fighting on. If we stay here, it's still low ground. It's all low ground. Yeah, I don't think that's a good position right there. Doesn't really matter too much when shooting up at War Mammoths, so Armour 70. Yeah, probably best to take out the Feral Mammoths first. So that's still going to be a big problem. Yeah, because see, it's a good thing I didn't make the attack out in the water. We wouldn't have won that. If I this if I stand here, these guys won't get here in time. This is just a terrible fucking position to be in. The whole battle is just one stupid hill. Oh well. If we're gonna fight anywhere, then at least fight where it's closest to our allies. Bleach. Okay, send you out there to fuck them around a bit. They don't have any flyers, do they? Yeah, so you just hang around there as well. You're on a unicorn, right? How fast are you? It's 86. No one's likely to catch you. Cool. So that's just well. Just mess them around a whole bunch. Come around over this way. See if we can. Oh, we'll see. oh shit! Shit! Get around! Oh, double shit! Get out! Get! <laughs> no, that's not a good start. Too many things to pay attention to is a bit of a problem. Actually, yeah. Bring, drag them down over here. See if we can kill them nice and early. This unit here is dead. It's okay, if it's annoying like four mammoths, then that works out alright. No real time to properly set up. You can always replace those units, but it's okay. Shoot that mammoth. Bounce of power's right on even. Oh god, what this. Okay, these guys here are anti-large. Do what you're gonna do. Oh god, get out of there. Jesus Christ, just just run. God 
damn mammoths are strong. Okay, one, one's down. To get the more mammoths over there. Yeah, you just leave the battlefield. Just go. Oh, we can't. Then hide somewhere. Oh, I can't summon that yet. Fan Chantress is getting a bit of a hard time on it. Just stay there. Pop the heal down. Another one of these battles where I have to... It's a big fucking mess everywhere. It's not ideal. Yes. Bouncer power is improving. Get that mammoth before it kills us. Alright, can I just put regrowth down as well for physical resistance? Come on, everyone, focus on this. Bouncer Power's in our favor. We're looking like we're going to win. Let's just try to do this without taking any massive casualties. Where's Elberic? There. Come and, come and duel uh, Wolfric. This as well. That could do okay. Ah, fucking change directions. Okay, we should be inflicting the army loss penalty soon. We've, we've definitely won the battle. There we go. That's right. Good, good, good. We'll be able to do a much more coordinated attack to finish them off. Alright, yeah. Don't let... Don't let any of them get away with this. Army's in a bit of a mess. As far as I can tell, no heroes died. Still some mammoths. Where's my mounted yeoman? Maybe he ran off the battlefield. Wasn't able to keep an eye on him. For the king! Noble knight! Pegasus knight! A base! Yeah, Wolfric's on f no he's not on foot. Every bit of damage that we do to him will be good. Oh, he, Alberic's catching up. Alberic might be able to get his Hippogriff soon. Yeah, don't kill him. Keep him damaged for the next battle. Alright, what's the damage report? Okay, no one's dead, so that's, that's good. And they did lose a lot of mammoths. Those mammoths are very powerful. Remember when I played as Norsk, all I did was hire mammoths, because they just, they killed everything. If you, enemy infantry, just roll right over them. Their mass is too high, there's no way to, to resist them. They get like 30, 40 kills just on the charge. The only thing they're weak against is being shot. They like giants, except just way better. Come on, hurry up. We need two hours. Alright, so looking at the other army. Fane Chancellor's army survives as well. 
bit of damage, but no one's got wiped out. Ooh. Yeah, that money would be good. I protect Bretonia. Oh, we can't have him stand there. My reputation precedes me. My strength and wisdom are yours. Going forth. There you go, hippogriff. Nice. Actually, you could have gotten that Lord a level ago. Oh, well. Let's finish this off. Start wrapping things up. It's already it's taken too long, but I'm not not ready to get off it yet. <laughs> Maybe I should have just done a third episode. No, I don't want to. This will be a quick fight. I don't even need the reinforcements, but bringing in the reinforcements will allow us to inflict the army loss penalty much faster. Let's pick the best spot for the archers. One thing that we could do, if we can get the Fae Enchantress over here, she can heal these guys. Just get all the heroes together, just get a big heal blob going. Don't really want to be shooting those guys. Take out the damaged ones first. We don't want them charging at us. Good, one down. Ignore him. Stick him good. Honor her. And we, Oria, men we. All right, good. There's a bowman for the grail. Now, I can't replace any melee infantry here, but I can replace archers. Don't want to kill him. We need the army loss penalty. There we go. It's going to flick it. Good. And since Wolfric's alive, the whole army dies. I know it's stupid, but that's just how it works. Good, once again, no, you just got wiped out. Yeah, I'll take the ransom again, and... Of the realm. Good, gained the blessing of the lady. Lord of Bretonia. Alright, Elbrick can stay here. Very well, I go. And you force March to here for additional you replenishment. You have the favour of the Fae. Okay. 
I protect Bertone. Alright, let's see about a peace treaty with Wolfric. Our reliability hasn't changed you at dare all. Seek my Kislev. You will drink with us, Kislev. Well, and it's, no one's probably going to negotiate with us for anything, you but you can always try. This is unwise. Doesn't matter, I don't have any goods to sell anyway. Too expensive to repair. It'll repair on its own. Moving on. Alright, so next turn, the Fey Enchantress... Actually, she's so badly damaged, she might have to stay here for a few turns. But I was thinking about sending her to Gorsal. I don't think we'll be seeing any forces from... from Norska for a while. Oh, so now you're at war with, with Nagar... Actually, that's not... I don't actually know if they're going to be at war with Nagarond. Okay, so they've taken this. All right, we're good. We don't have to worry about Scar Snake. That's sorted. I'm sure. I'm sure the guy can handle the uh, the defense of um, Bordelow. And this settlement over here has no defenses anyway. So just go take it. Uh, you know, in the next in the next turn or so. We all good. Money's not great, but all you got to do is. Disband a couple of units. What is you your want. That'll keep you going for like 20 turns. It's fine. Uh, and there's also the possibility of. I mean, that'll increase income as well. And that's going to increase income. So will this when you take it. Fuck, I'm, I'm going to go for this. No one's there. My strength and wisdom are yours. Take that, and then we'll end it there. Chain lightning, excellent. <laughs> Let's see if if Tyrion makes the attack. If he does make the attack over this end turn here, this could end up being a two and a half hour long episode. Are they going to do it? No. Okay. Good. So it's not my problem. <laughs> But like I said, Bordelow's defenses are pretty strong. You should be able to repel that. But even if you did lose it, you got all these other settlements here that are arguably better now, like Marienburg and Blackstone Post. Of course, I've left him with low reliability. Eh, be fine. It hasn't been that bad so far. Would have been way worse if if the Wood Elves were ripping through here. That would have been way worse. I 
God, that must be so annoying as Norska to have settlements that cannot have any garrison in them. Because then rogue armies can just pop up in the middle of nowhere. You might not have any any armies near there, and they just destroy your fucking settlements. Tempting to sack and occupy it. But we're just gonna occupy it. Who calls me Hex? There you go. Alright, that that's enough. Let's just see if there's a little bit <laughs> a little I bit of diplomacy we can do. Okay, Let it's the Look at there we go. You can get the Confederation now, if you want to. Like maybe it might need a little bit of money to sweeten the deal. Let me just see. That's under siege. Who's... King Luan Leon They're not, so it's not under siege by any of them. By, by Bretonia. What would you get out of this for a confederation? Because you'd get Caron. That's an excellent city. You'd get... you get that entire province. Also excellent. However, this entire province here. You wouldn't be at war with them. They're not under any real threat. This is you should do this. Champion of the Here we league. go. I'll do it for you. You ask for a boon. No. <laughs> I should have gotten off this by now. I don't like making two-hour videos. Absolutely not. Come on. You ask for a boon. Speak, and I will see if it is within my power to give. There you go. There you go. Of course, the money's gone way down, but all you're gonna do is just disband a few Blessings units. Blessings of the lady be You'll be upon fine. You. So let's have a look, and maybe just demolish a few things. Of course, that <laughs> you've only got one turn to sort that out. Maybe I should sort that out for you. Oh, look at this, Lou and Leon. Oh. Yeah. Your okay. coming was foretold. Okay, so take these guys out. My deeds are legend. We have met before. What madness is Now, this? a problem with this is that I none of the settlements are going to have any garrison that we just Chicago. gained. Devotee of the lady. I'll save you a bit of money. Uh, and they might just go ahead and declare war on us anyway. The There's an force march there. Let me just see if I can get you out of this war Alaria's with them. Champion. Probably God not. Nope. Can I get you out of any of these wars? Nope. No, that, it's I'll probably not going to happen because of... A negotiation. Yeah. I am the blood of Sheila. Because if you don't sort this out next, by this turn, oh hang on, this Do is something. We don't need all of this. Death before dishonor. Okay, you're not gonna go broke this turn. Yeah, demolish a few things to be fine. This this campaign is fixed. Anyway, that's the end of this one. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next disaster, fuckers.